follow-up review on the Snap-on 3000 lumen underhood slim light as they call it. And there's actually a light in here and I have one here. So I technically, well not technically, I have two of these lights and I'll get into why here in a second. So uh, on high, these are 3000 lumens. On low, they're 300 lumens. On low, they'll run for 15 hours. On high, they'll run for two and a quarter hours. That's pretty accurate. I found that those numbers to be pretty true, at least on the high. I've never changed the brightness down at all. I love how bright the 3000 lumens is. Uh, it is drop resistant to one meter, although I don't know why you would ever drop it. Um, and overall, it's been a great light as far as when it's working. And what do I mean by that? Well, I've actually had to send my original one in about three times and I was getting ready to send it in a fourth time and my dealer just said, I'm done with this light, here's another one. And so he gave me another brand new light and just took the old one and said he was gonna throw it in the trash. Whether he actually did that, I don't know. But either way, I wanted to buy a secondary one anyways as a backup because I was tired of dealing with mine getting sent into warranty. So this is full transparency. I, I Again, I sent mine in several times. And uh, from what we could tell every time it was a charger issue, and that is one of the biggest negatives. It's a USB type C, but it says use only the supplied charger. And the very first time I sent it in, that's what they said. They said, you can't use any other charger. And I'm like, I didn't. I've only ever used the one that came with it. I have it plugged into the wall and I most of the time have this thing charging. And then when I use it, I'll unplug it or it will charge the light as it's in use if it's plugged in. So obviously it's gonna charge it if it's plugged in. But when the light is on, in you have it plugged in, it'll still charge it on top of that. So that is a really great feature, but the light is super bright. So again, 3000 lumens, and it's always hard to tell for sure on video, but as you can see, it lights up the entire engine bay and does a really good job. Uh, a small, and it's not even really an issue, but it is a slight bit noticeable. Because these lights only stretch on the one side when you install them, obviously that pulls the light more to one side on the hood. Is it the end of the world? No, because it's still fairly bright, but you do notice a little bit of a difference. And I don't always like that. I wanna be able to slide the light more to the center. Again, first world problems, is it the end of the world? No, it's not, but it is something that I wish all under hood lights had, is where you could adjust the, um, adjust the light itself. Here is the part number ECU HE300. These run typically around 300 to 325, I believe, depending on the sale. It's gonna depend on your dealer. There's a lot of things that come into factor, as you all know. But overall, that being said, even though I had to send it in multiple times, that is why I bought a second one because I like this light so much, I wanted a backup. I have the older uh, style here, and I think those are about 2,000 lumens, maybe 1,500, I can't remember, maybe they're 2,500, I don't remember. But anyways, I didn't like it because it, again, only shows one beam on the spot that you're at, and it hangs so low it gets in the way, so I would bang my head into it constantly because it'd be hanging down and I'm lifting back up and hitting my head. I've got um, some of the Harbor Freight ones, didn't like those either. I've got this Mac one that's the motion sensor that I absolutely hated. And so, like I said, overall, this has been the absolute best and brightest light, and that's why I have two of them. So would I still recommend it? Yes, but keep in mind, again, full transparency, I sent my original one in three to four times for warranty. So far, this one's been perfect. I've not had any issues and it's not broken once, so that's great. I've got comments and messages from other people on my social media platforms, and they said theirs have been fine and great, no issues. So I don't know if I just got a dud from the beginning, who knows? So anyways, if you have any questions about it or any concerns or whatever, just throw them in the comments. I'm happy to answer the best way I can. Appreciate you all. Take it easy. We'll catch you on the next one.